For more and more people, tapping their phone to pay for those nacho fries is becoming just as normal as reaching for their wallet. And Google just made it even easier to ePay. It's Tuesday, February 20th. Welcome to DT Daily. And Google has rolled out Google Pay, their consolidation of the Android Pay and Google Wallet apps. It's just for Android users for the moment. Sorry, Apple folks. And we're sure in time, Google will call it GPay, just like everyone else. GPay, or Google Pay, can be used inside apps and on websites, and perhaps best of all, can be used to send money to individuals, like all those friends you lost that Super Bowl bet to, even if they don't have Google Pay. You can also integrate rewards programs so you keep racking up those airline miles and gas pump points. Pretty much every major bank has signed on, but if you're not sure if yours is included, hit the links below for the whole list and tips for using GPay. Remember when you heard those stories about 3D computer memory and all those other seemingly science fiction data storage advances? Yeah, not so science fiction-y after all. Samsung just announced their latest solid state hard drive, this one, and it's ringing in at just a tick over 30 terabytes in one drive with no moving parts. The high capacity drive is destined for internet server farms for the moment and has the romantic model number of PM1643. I guess TK421 was already taken. Anyway, the drive will also be available in the typical by half sizes as well, like 15 terabytes, 7 terabytes, and so on. Samsung says the memory device uses vNAND technology with 64 layer, 3 bit, 512 gigabit chips, like the ones in this 1 terabyte internal memory stick. Seems like 30 should fit in there somehow. No prices yet, but probably not cheap, and we're sure it won't be long until it'll be on an SD card you just slip into your Galaxy S15. A job posting at Spotify is raising a few eyebrows. The market leader in music streaming is looking for an operations manager for a future hardware product. Spotify is on its way to creating its first physical products, the post reads, and goes on to say that they are hoping to create innovative Spotify experiences via connected hardware. As you can imagine, speculation is running wild. Are they going to make a smart speaker? Seems a bit late for that. An iPod-like device? Maybe a Spotify smartwatch? At this point, no one really knows, and that may include Spotify itself. But with an IPO in the works, the $20 billion company will be under pressure to expand and innovate outside of their core streaming business, so a whole line of Spotify smart light bulbs with built-in speakers could be on the way. If you think it's the job for you, polish up that resume and hit the link for more details. Then head on over to digitaltrends.com for the rest of the day's tech news, and of course, check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe to our podcasts on iTunes or wherever you get yours. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.